Welcome to you both. And Derek, I'll start with you because you really hammered this point that the intent of the deal in the first place was to protect American data. Um, is, is that happening here? I think it's happening, uh, as you guys just discussed. There's a lot of confusion. The Chinese side of the Global Times is basically a tabloid. The president seems to be characterizing a data that his own Treasury Department, a, a deal that his own Treasury Department didn't set up. But this started with a, an appropriate, correct U.S. investigation into how TikTok was behaving with regard to American consumer data. Uh, recommendations were made by the, the government body that's in charge of that, which is the Committee on Foreign Investment of the United States. Uh, those recommendations should have served to protect American consumer data. I believe they did. And I believe they're carrying through in this deal if we have a deal. The hard part is we get this talk about 25,000 jobs, which has nothing to do with consumer privacy, $5 billion education fund, which has nothing to do with it, the Chinese posturing on their side. But I think if the deal does go through, we will get protection for American consumers. Interesting. Depayan, what are your thoughts about that and kind of the broader ramifications of what's happening here? You know, the same editor of The Times, Hu Shijin, yesterday tweeted that the U.S. treatment of TikTok could actually be a template for what happens to companies operating globally, that they will have to play by local rules and, and in, in this case, kind of bow to arbitrary forces. That seems like it could ultimately uh, do a lot of harm to a lot of big American companies. Yeah, you know, I think Derek is is absolutely right that while this this deal might, uh, if it goes through, uh, protect uh, the privacy uh, and therefore, let's say, the national security, should China choose to at some point uh, hypothetically use information against uh, against the United States, this this deal as structured should protect against that, uh, presumably, uh, but. Uh, you know, I think that the Chinese government and, and this official has has a has a real point here that, uh, you know, if th if this deal goes through and it leaves all current uh, political parties, uh, entities uh, happy uh, on the American and the Chinese side, then it could very well serve as a template, not just for Chinese companies in the future, but maybe for American companies dealing in China or maybe for uh, for other companies around the world. And that will only uh, encourage this uh, broader uh, idea of a splinter net where we have uh, different regulatory circumstances yeah. uh, leading to different uh, economic circumstances in China versus the U.S. So, Derek, what is that ultimately going to mean for U.S. companies? And I also want to go back to your uh, sort of comfort level with this deal protecting American data because it, it doesn't even seem clear as to whether Oracle is going to vet the data, although maybe you think there would be... Uh, kind of assurances that come in another form, but I just don't see how it even helps protect the the very thing that it was set out to protect. Well, it should do that. And if Oracle has custody of the data and, and is the, the entity in charge of, of controlling the servers, we've heard about all these people being hired. They should be responsible to an, uh, an American company or American seat on the board. Walmart having a seat on the board of TikTok Global you know, if Walmart were to resign, if that director were to resign due to data practices, that would be a sign that uh, they weren't being followed and that, that ByteDance would face more sanctions. So there are there are mechanisms in place to protect data if they aren't given away as part of the bargaining process. With regard to American companies, that bargaining process is the concern. The Chinese have been doing this to American companies in private for decades. They come in and they say, well, we have these laws we could apply to you. We could denounce you in state media, or you could cooperate, for example, on tech transfer. Now the U.S. is making that legitimate to do it in public, that it isn't just data protection. It's also jobs and money. And that means data protection, as you are implying, becomes secondary. It also means that American firms can be shaken down for jobs and money.